Hello everyone, welcome to my Royal Family official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. When Prince Harry travels to London the following week, it's possible that King Charles will be too busy to meet with him. Even though they haven't seen each other in the past two months, it's still unclear whether Charles' schedule will permit him to visit Harry, according to a Monday story in The Telegraph, and it's going to be quick if he does. The source went on to say that the king will, if he can, make time for the California-born royal, who will be in town on May 8 to mark the Invictus Games' 10th anniversary at Street Paul's Cathedral. The king's hectic agenda reportedly includes earlier engagements, the first garden party of the season at Buckingham Palace, and his weekly appointment with Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, according to The Telegraph. For the first time since his flight in early February, just after the king revealed his cancer diagnosis, Harry will be visiting the UK. The 75-year-old monarch was receiving treatment for an undisclosed cancer, according to information released by Buckingham Palace on February 10. According to the statement, His Majesty has today begun a schedule of regular treatments, during which time he has been advised by doctors to postpone public-facing duties. His Majesty will carry out state business and official paperwork as usual during this period. Following that, Harry hopped on a plane and raced to be by his father's side, leaving his wife Meghan Markle and their two kids, Prince Archie, four, and Princess Lilibet, two, at home in Montecito, California. Before leaving for the United States the next day, the Duke of Sussex spent less than an hour with his father at Clarence House. Harry subsequently expressed his gratitude to Good Morning America for being able to put everything on hold in order to meet his father. You know I adore my family, declared the Duke of Sussex. I am thankful for the opportunity to board a plane, see him, and spend any amount of time with him. Harry won't be able to see his father again for a while after his forthcoming trip to London. According to an exclusive story published by Page Six, the king might extend an invitation to Harry and his family to visit Balmoral Castle this summer in an effort to patch things up and spend more time with his grandkids, whom he has very seldom seen. Charles and Harry's relationship has been strained for the past few years, and things got worse after Harry's candid memoir Spare was released in 2022. Harry and Prince William have been at odds for years, but it is unknown if they would ever meet. Actually, it's said that Harry learned of his sister-in-law Kate Middleton's cancer diagnosis from a TV program. He and Markle soon after issued a statement wishing Kate and the family health and healing. When Prince Harry returns to the UK next week, Meghan Markle won't be going with him, and a royal expert has criticised her sad choice. On May 8, the Duke of Sussex will be in London for a special service commemorating the Invictus Games' 10th anniversary. The celebration will be held at Street Paul's Cathedral, the same location where his parents were married, and he will read at it. Royal analyst Charlotte Griffiths called the decision so sad and claimed that Harry will be so lonely without his bride. She also hinted that Harry won't have any senior royal family members by his side. Buckingham Palace and the Sussex's offices have not yet disclosed any plans for Harry to see his family when he gets back to the UK. The Invictus Games service, according to Charlotte, will be very stark if Harry is left alone. She said, that's where his parents got married, in an interview with GB News. It will be a somber and mature occasion. After being wed in 1981, Princess Diana and Prince Charles separated in 1992 and divorced in 1996. Charlotte added that while Harry is at Street Paul's Cathedral, he probably wants his wife by his side. It's a really important part of Harry's soul and the kind of thing he'd want his wife, maybe even his kids by his side for, she said. After months of rumours, it was confirmed earlier this week that Meghan will not be travelling to the UK to join Harry. Chris Shipp, a royal correspondent, verified the information on X, the former Twitter. More proof this morning that Meghan won't be accompanying Harry to the Invictus anniversary service at Atest Pulse London in London, he stated. However, as soon as Harry departs the UK, the Duchess of Sussex will travel to Nigeria, 
with the Duke in an Invictus-inspired trip. Meghan will not be traveling to the UK, but she will travel to Nigeria with her husband soon after his trip to London. Harry and Meghan are anticipated to interact with service members and their families and participate in cultural events while they are there. Meghan hasn't visited the UK very often since leaving the royal family in 2020. She celebrated Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee with the royal family, but she hasn't been back since the Queen's burial in September 2022. Fury has been aroused by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's previous business ventures. A socialite and royal observer called the two insensitive for what they did given the health issues the royal family is currently facing. This year, King Charles and Kate Middleton received cancer diagnosis. The specific kind is still unknown. Harry and Meghan's business endeavors also happen to coincide with Kate's health problems. Three docuseries have been released by Harry and Meghan since they reportedly agreed to a $100 million agreement with Netflix in 2020. Harry and Meghan, Heart of Invictus, and Live to Lead. During an event in February 2024, Netflix chief content officer Bella Bajaria revealed that the company is working on several projects that are in the very early development stages, including a movie, TV series, and a few unscripted series. Netflix revealed the two projects that are in production for this year in April 2024. Megan's first endeavor is a food series in which she will celebrate the joys of cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship. Megan is a former star of Suits. With much of the second season being filmed at the U.S. Open Polo Championship in Wellington, Florida, viewers will get a glimpse into the world of professional polo. On April 12, the royal couple was spotted at the Royal Salute Polo Challenge. On April 13, Harry was spotted recording the show. The trademark filing application states that the brand will market kitchenware, home decor items, and a variety of spreads and preserves, such as nut butter, jams, and jellies. Megan gifted 50 friends and celebrities gift baskets filled with strawberry jam, branded with the American Riviera Orchard logo. Former friend of Meghan Markle and royal expert Lizzie Cundy criticized the Duke and Duchesses of Sussex on GBN America for their timing. Meghan, according to Lizzie, is not reading the room and trying to return to being a Gwyneth Paltrow type. All of Harry and Meghan's business endeavors, she said, are not really relatable. I think it's pretty insensitive when Catherine's Middleton going through what she's going through and the king is going through his cancer issues too. It's really insensitive, to be honest. Claiming that the two don't realize how ridiculous they're coming across, she continued, saying, they're so into themselves, they can't see the wood for the trees. Lizzie was harsh in her criticism of Meghan and her lifestyle business, especially the songs, labeling them as cheesy, phony, and fake. Megan, according to the socialite, should think about what you've actually done to poor Kate, and that people are sick to death of her across the pond. Actress Melissa McCarthy stood up for her friend Megan on April 18 at the Broadway premiere of Suffs in New York City. Despite all the vitriol and insults Megan has been subjected to, according to Page Six, she told the site, it bothers me for every woman and every person that people just like to attack for no reason. For some reason, some people find a smart, interesting woman with her own life to be extremely threatening. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.